Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Um, welcome. I am your master, Darth Stardust. Um, we're gonna be playing some more Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Um, something happened with the other live stream event that I set up, and so I quickly tried to do another one um, to get this rolling here. So, welcome! Um, thanks for sticking around, um, and thanks for those of you who are watching it as a video after it's posted. Like. Thanks for bearing with the whole, like, oh, in my life kind of part of it. Um, so, as of today, today's May 4th. May the 4th be with you guys. So, uh, yes. Um, I hope you guys are all having a good good Saturday, good May 4th. And let's let's get going on this. Let's see what, um, what quests we have going for us. Um, let's see. Search for Basila. We're still searching for Basila. We've been invited to a party. We can still talk with Karth. Still gotta talk to the guy about Dia's bounty. So, um, right before I left last time, Karth, um, they, every so often they'll get these, um, these faces, I guess, your, your companions, and it'll say, oh, this person looks like he wants to talk, so. Um, yes, I'm gonna go home. Go ahead and talk with him a little bit. It's a good time to ask you for more questions. I'm all ears, beautiful. Mm. So now I'm beautiful. Um, what should we say? Mm, let's see. So I like the sound the fact of that. that. I'm all ears, or the beautiful part. I'm role playing. Carlos, are you flirting for me? With me? You have something you'd rather I call you by? Mm. How about gorgeous? I, I like, like that sell, better. But what are you gonna call me in exchange? How about handsome? Well, I like the first part of that. I'm a bit more partial to the most handsome pilot in the galaxy. What do you think? Don't hold your well, breath. then I guess gorgeous. We'll just have to do until then. Well, turn aside. I bet you're not about to give up on those questions, yours. Are they really necessary? Yes, I need to talk to my party. I just, I love seeing the interactions between, like, the romances and stuff like that, so. It might be a little weird me playing as a guy, talking to a guy, but, you know. Um, yeah, well, I'd just like to know you better. You Why don't you say so? This isn't an interrogation. I never said that. No, I was just joking. Though, you do seem to be full of questions. It's rather refreshing, to be honest. Let me ask you something first, though. I've been going through the battle of the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened, from your perspective. Like you said, when we first met Bastila... Uh, when we first met, Bastila didn't have time to use her powers. True. Bastila is as powerful as they say. She's the one who defeated Darth Revan, after all. Mm. I guess that no Jedi ability, no matter how powerful, makes up for being completely surprised and outmatched. We didn't choose that battle anyway. It got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, it's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your position with the Republic fleet anyway? Um, I used to be a smuggler, if you must know. I was recruited into the fleet for my knowledge. A smuggler? I should have guessed. Isn't it odd, however, that a smuggler who was added to the crew at the last minute just happens to be alive? You wish I wasn't? Don't be ridiculous. You've more than proved yourself since the crash. We wouldn't have made it this far without you. Still. Are you implying that I had something to do with the crash? No. Well, maybe. Don't get me wrong, it just seems odd that someone Bastila's party specifically requested a transfer board happens to survive. I have no idea what you're the talking Jedi about. requested numerous things when we came on board. But hell, they practically took over the ship, as far as I could tell. Considering your connection to Bastion and the Jedi, whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. I'm probably wrong, and this is probably nothing. I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value, however, and I hate surprises.
Sorry, I'm, I'm just um, making some changes here. I don't know if I... Okay, it, it is public right now. So... Alright, sorry about that. I just had to check on the stream. Um, shouldn't we be trying to work together? I am working with you. I'd be a fool not to. I'd also be a fool not to expect the unexpected. Are you always this suspicious? It has nothing to do with you personally. I don't trust anyone. And no, I'm not going to discuss them, so can we just keep our mind on more important things? I consider this important. I want to know you. All right, all right. You must be the most damn persistent woman I've ever met. We'll talk That's about me. it, but later. Right now, I just want to get going. All right, so... We talked with Karth a little bit. Now we will go on. We got some more quests. Mostly these quests. The dueling ring is something that we could do, but we we just came back from that. Um, search for Vassalo. We're still going to. I think we're gonna go to this next. Invited to a party. Um, if I recall correctly, that's the closest. Um, or we could just go exploring. We could do that as well, um, which is what I might do. Um, right here, this medical facility. Talk to Gurney. Can't you see I'm busy with my duties? Go talk to Zelka if you need something. Well, excuse me, sir. I wonder if the droid... I, I've never talked to the droid. I wonder if it has something to say. It does not. All right, then. I see from your appearance that you are an off-worlder. I am. Still, you're welcome here. I'll not have it said that Zelka Foran refused to help somebody just because they weren't a citizen of Terrace. Do you require healing or medical supplies? I can treat almost any injury or ailment right here at the medical facility. Except the rat ghoul disease, of course. Rat ghoul disease? What's that? The terrible affliction has plagued Terrace for many generations. It is spread by the rat ghouls, horrible monsters that live in the Undercity below Terrace's great Ooh. skyscrapers. Prolonged exposure to the Undercity breeds the disease, and those infected would eventually mutate into rat ghouls themselves, becoming mindless beasts that feed on the flesh of others. Wow. That sounds... Is there no cure? Mm, there is no antidote for the disease. Though I heard the Republic scientists at the military base here on Terrace were close to perfecting a cure. Then the Sith arrived. They overran the military base, and now they refuse to allow anyone access to the laboratories inside. The Sith are keeping all the serum for the patrols they send into the Undercity. If I could just get my hands on a sample of that serum, the Rat Ghoul disease could be wiped from the face of Terrace forever. But I don't see how that's going to happen. Maybe I could find a way to get my hands on that serum for you. I don't see how anyone could get their hands on that serum. The military base is crawling with Sith guards. Breaking in there would be a suicide mission. Sample of the serum oh, sorry, them, guys. If they hadn't already used it because of a rat ghoul infection. But I doubt a patrol would just hand the serum over. And nobody is stupid enough to attack one of the Sith patrols, even in the Undercity. Alright, don't worry, Zelka. I'll get that serum for you. Please, don't say that. If the Sith hear you, they might think I'm suggesting you start attacking their patrols. They could shut me down. I only mentioned sorry. the serum because you asked. I don't actually expect anyone to get me the serum. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? I could use some healing. Probably yeah, not. Just take me a moment while I examine your injuries, and then I'll administer the proper treatment. But, you never want to be too careful. Let's see what Welcome other back. things he has to say. Are you in need? Uh, he sells stuff. Let's see what I others. am quite busy maintaining the facility, but I suppose I could spare a bit of time to answer some questions. What would you like to know? Um, how do you feel about the Sith? I know enough to be scared of them. I've heard about the brutality of the Sith. I know what they do to the planets they conquer. So far, all they've done is ask me some general questions, but I'm afraid they might one day decide to shut this facility down simply out of evil spite. I guess there's not much I can do about the Sith, except hope that the Republic finds a way to stop their conquest of the entire galaxy. I would like to ask you something else. I am quite busy maintaining the facility, but I suppose I could spare a bit. 
Um, do you know anything about the Republic, uh, Republic escape pods that crashed in the other city? Republic escape pods? I, no. Why would you ask me that? I don't know. Those pods crashed in the Undercity. I'm not involved in any way. Hmm. Sounds suspicious. Persuade. If you know something, you better tell me. No, I don't want to say that. I don't want to seem like a jerk. You seem awfully defensive about this. I'm not defensive. I just don't like being accused of knowing something about those Republic pods. This is as bad as an interrogation by the Sith. Don't worry. I'm not with the Sith. I won't betray your secret if you tell me. Well, you don't look like you're with the Sith. Uh, I guess I can tell you my secret. Or rather, I can show you. Since the space battle overhead, people have been secretly bringing in these Republic soldiers who crash-landed on the planet. I had to take them in. What choice did I have? Their injuries are terrible. Most won't survive. But at least I can make their last days more comfortable. And at least here, they're hidden away from the Sith. Well, for that, you have my thanks. It's good to know that at least some of these men ended up in compassionate hands. I hate to imagine what the Sith would do if they discovered these soldiers here. But since their initial questioning, the Sith have not returned, so it may be my fears are unfounded. Alright, guys. Mm, is there anything I can do to I'm help? I'm afraid there's nothing more anyone can do for these soldiers. Darn, I love helping. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should return to the front in case anyone comes in needing medical attention. Sorry, I'm talking with a friend. Um, Estás viendo? Um, Estás viendo el video? Um, that's a friend from Mexico. You there? Wait a minute. I need to talk to you about the Ratgold Serum. I've got an offer for you you might want to hear. An offer? What are you talking about? Zelka isn't the only one who wants to get his hands on the Ratgold Serum. Davik Kang will pay you ten times what Zelka can if you can get the cure. Si hablé en español. Davik Kang, who's that? Oh, come is on. King. Everybody knows who Davik Kang is. He's the big boss around here. Gambling, smuggling, extortion. He's got a piece of all the action on Taris. You mean Davik's crime lord? I prefer to think of him as a role model. He started with nothing, and now he's got it all. Credits, power, women. It's the Teresian dream, right? I don't think so. Uh, why does Damik want the cure so badly? Why do you care? Why do you care who Look, gets the cure? Zelka can't afford to pay me much. If you sell the serum to Davik, I can probably get a nice finder's fee for directing you to him. Um, well, why don't you just find another job that pays better? Hm, I'll just deny it. Who's Zelka gonna believe? Me or some off-world stranger? And be smart about this. You'll get a better deal selling to Davik. Why does Davik want to hear so badly? Davik's interested in anything that can turn a profit. He could make a fortune selling the serum to anyone infected with the disease. Not like Zelka, who'll practically give it away. Maybe that's for the best. I think I'd rather uh, give the serum to Zelka. He'll use it to help people. Helping people is all well and good, but you have to help yourself first, right? I'm telling you, Davik will pay big credits for the cure. More than Zelka could ever afford. And then only the rich could afford the cure. Just let the poor suffer, right? If you find the Ratgul serum, just take it to Zax in the lower city bounty office. He works for Davik. He'll pay you what that cure is really worth. Right, I'm trying to see the live chat, see if you guys have said anything. Why can I not look at that? Alright, live chat. Okay. 
Okay, well, we can choose to um, get that serum for the good cause, to help other people, or we can choose the serum to make our own profit, make our own money. So, that's one thing that we can do. Davik says you missed your last payment. <laughs> Davik doesn't like you missing payments. <laughs> Here, I, I've got 50 credits, a down payment. That should buy me some time, right? Sorry, you're out of time. Now it's all or nothing. Davik can't have people not paying his debts. But I don't have that much. How can I give you credits I don't have? That's too bad. Davik's going to want to make an example of you. You're coming with us. No, help! Somebody help! They're going to kill me! I know you have to be careful about drawing attention to ourselves, but we can just let them drag this guy off? Hold on a second. Looks like we got ourselves a witness here. Doesn't, uh, Davik doesn't like witnesses. Alright, I don't like your attitude, buddy. Leave this man alone, or you'll have to deal with me. Oh. Dang it. I clicked, I clicked the wrong uh, box. Thank you. No. I'm just glad I could help. I'm getting. Ah man. What I wanted to say was like I want to help you out and everything like that. So I didn't get the light side points, but that's okay. You guys doing? You guys doing good? I hope so. I hope you find yourselves just peachy. Sorry, I'd... gosh dang it! This is not the best way of looking at the live chat. Okay, so these are other apartments. Let's go and explore these. On it. We'll hack this door real quick. These guys are not going to bother us. I remember when a person didn't have to worry about thieves rummaging through their home. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I just need these more than you guys do. Not really. Funny thing about going through people's stuff is like it doesn't doesn't make you bad or anything like that. Which is funny. I think these might be the apartments where the uh, the party's at. Which is pretty good. Um, going to the party helps us out in, in the, the rest of the, the quests. Most of these apartments are all open. These people feel safe, apparently. Sorry about that, guys. Um, the graininess of it. Um, it's on GeForce now, and my computers or my internet is not super good. Hey, you made it! I'm doing it through Wi-Fi. I was beginning to wonder if you were going to show. The party's in full swing. Come on in. You have to try this Teresian ale. It's fantastic. We should have conquered this planet ages ago. Careful, Yoon. That wine's got quite the kick. A couple more bottles, and we'll all be passed out on the floor. Who cares? We're not on duty tomorrow. Let's live a little. Come on, drink up. Yeah. Eat, drink, and be merry. Whoopsie! Well... They're all passed out cold. And that is why we go to the party. I wonder if... this one. I'm gonna put on the Sith armor. I've never tried this before um, in this, these apartments. I don't think there's anyone that's gonna shoot at me, but uh, you on it. are disguised Ten. as a... You're... you're with the Sith, ain't you? Oh, sure. I recognize the uniform. What do you want? 
I haven't done anything wrong. If you want to search the place, go ahead. I won't stop you. I've got nothing to hide from you. And that is how we can search this place without any problem. However, this guy actually gives you a quest. Um, it's one, another one of those bounty situations. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the armor. Oh, she's naked. Put that combat suit back on. Now we're going to go talk to him again. Please, please don't hurt me. You don't have to kill me. I'll have to have some money if he if he just gives me a little more time. Please. I don't want to die. Here, I've got 50 credits on me. That's all I've got. It's yours. Just don't tell Davik where I'm hiding, okay? I'm begging you. What are you blabbing about? You mean you're not here to kill me? But nope. I, I thought you were one of Davik's bounty hunters. If you're not here to kill me, what do you want? Maybe I could help you with your problem with Davik. I don't like think anyone guy. can help me. I owe Davik money, and I was late with the payment. So he went to Zax in the bounty office and put a price on my head. I've been hiding here ever since. But sooner or later, someone will for me. Unless I somehow come up with another 200 credits. I'm a dead man. Here, I've got 200 credits you can have. You'd give 200 credits to a stranger just to help them out? From the kindness <laughs> of my heart. Well, uh, thank you. Wow, that sure was generous of you. I just hope we don't end up needing those credits later on. Now I can pay off Davik. Oh, thank you. You saved my life. Oh, I better go give this to Davik right away. Yay! Light side points. Oh yeah, we've already searched that. I forgot. Should probably save it here. Did I save it? Let me go back and make sure that I saved it. Is that all of it? Let me check. So we've actually been in all of the apartments. Okay. Alright then, let's go. Let's go back out. And we will go this way. This way. She walks so slow, I feel like. Bus City South. East oh. That was dumb of me. I just went back. Oh, sorry. So sorry, guys. Says Trooper. Out of our way, citizen. We're on official Sith business. Just stand aside. He thinks he's all that because he's a Sith guy. What is this planet coming to, huh? <gasps> Slummy's just walking around the upper city. Are Since you talking to Lars? Says you belong, Slummy. This is rich. Yeah, like he said, these streets are for upper city citizens. <laughs> you better get out of the way if you know what's good for you. Hey guys, we can all be friends here. Let me buy you a drink. A drink? Hey, hey! for Slummy, you ain't so bad. Come on, boys, this slummy's buying the next round. <laughs> no way, forget it. No more drinks. We're laying enough as it is. Uh, uh, yeah. I guess you're right. Maybe next time, slummy. <laughs> Come on, fellas, let's go. Yay, I don't have to actually have to buy them drinks. Listen to me, people. There is a terrible scourge sweeping our planet. Heed my warning before it is too late. Big friends and fellow humans, I bring you a warning. A warning of a great plague spreading across our planet. Please, listen to me. My name is Gorton Kolu. Will you join my cause? We must band together if we are to stop the spread of vermin and scum throughout Taris. Vermin and scum? What are you talking about? I am speaking of the hideous-looking aliens who walk the world of Taurus. The Wookies and Ithorians and Rodians and Bith, all of them! Listen, friend, for these are dark times. That is why I, Gorton Kolu, have formed the Anti-Alien League. The time has come for action! We cannot sit idly by while aliens blight our glorious planet! I don't know which is worse, your hate or your ignorance. Yeah, I think, like... 
It's kind of racist. Uh, I see, Will. Good luck in your crusade. Remain true to the cause, friend. Enlightened humans such as yourself are few and far between. But we shall triumph when the day of reckoning comes. A plague spreads through our streets. We All cannot right. sit idly by while this pox so infects sorry, our society. Guys, I um, am putting a comment on chat. The mayor of the fourth be with you. going now. Move along then. He only cares about how we're dressed, huh? Well, guess what? Pata! Yeah, now I'm a Sith soldier. He has to let me in now, because he only goes by appearances. Another patrol heading down to the lower city, eh? Well, good luck. I've heard it's pretty rough down there. There's a big swoop gang war going on, you know. You better watch yourself. Those gangs will take a shot at anyone, even us. It's too bad we don't have the manpower just to sweep those slums clean. All right. That's good. Woo! Experience points! Sorry, guys. I'm kind of tired. So. We got past that guy. He's just a little doofus. He doesn't realize that we're just in disguise. Kaba dumpa kunpa yeya moka pata. Mutan nai kachu. Kin kin kunoba muli rachi kun. Dom na pun shanyunyan. Kaba bolpa muli. Oh, bags are nothing. Babanta father. We'll teach you who's the strongest. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention then. Usually I read them out loud, the, the comments, but... Not the comments, but the... The alien language. More strangers! Oh. You think you're so tough? Well, try this! Yeah! Oh. It's so oh she did she did right oh. 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 yay Karth you're my hero mainly because I died all right the good thing about the the first couple of levels is that um, your characters uh -huh. tend to be healed pretty quickly with just uh, just one medipack, so that's good. That is good. Let's go into these lower city apartments, scrounge around for what we can find. On it. Done. Hey, you can't come in here. This is a private apartment. What are you doing in here? This place looked, uh, looks abandoned. None of your business. Just turn around and go back the way you came. I'm, if you know what's good for you. Are you in some sort of trouble? Listen, let's talk. You want to talk about it? I, I guess I could tell you. You probably find it, uh, you find out on your own eventually. Anyway, Zax is giving bounties away like candy or so I hear. 
My name's Matrix. I used to work for the exchange, but all the violence and killing started to get to me. I knew what I, uh, what I was doing was wrong, so I turned uh, state's evidence. My testimony helped, helped, but some of the biggest criminals on terrorists put the biggest criminals on terrorists away for life. But Davik didn't like didn't like seeing his friends go down, so now he's got a bounty on my head. Maybe there's some way I could help you out of this. I don't think there's much anyone can do. I'm getting sick of running. I decided to make my stand right here. Maybe we could turn the tables, you know, have Damik eliminated? Getting inside Damik's base is nearly impossible. Even if I got rid of him, the exchange would not just appoint someone else in this place. And I'd still have that price on my head. Maybe you could fake your own death! Dang it, I clicked on the wrong one again. I've already thought of that. I even came up with a plan of how to do it, but I can't pull it off while I'm held up here. Tell me your plan and I might help you. The trick is getting Davik to pay to buy it when nobody found it. When there's nobody found at the scene. If it looks like I died in a massive explosion, he won't be suspicious when the corpse never turns out. If I had an accomplice go back and tell Davik they were the one who set off the explosions to eliminate I think I'd be home free. I have some demolitions experience from my own days in the exchange, so I could set it all up. But I need to get my hands on a perm permacrete de detonator. I could, I could get you a permacrete detonator. They don't usually sell them in stores here in the lower city, but in the upper city might carry them. You might want to look there first. Alright. Let me see how it is if we put on our Sith armor in these apartments. See if they uh, decide to shoot at us or not. Yep, they do. Alright, well, let's put a sword in our hands because they just. Uh... They just put on um, shields. So let's do this! And if you've been watching the, uh, the other video, um, the guy talking about the energy shields, I can. Uh, oh, this one. But with the energy shields, I can equip the sword and cut right through the energy shield, so. Alright, I'm gonna save it just in case I do this wrong. There's sometimes that I click the wrong thing, knowing what the, the solution is to this whole thing. But let's read. Let's read this thing that we got here in the inventory. It's the Tristard Ranker Trio data pad. What, do we not have it? Just told us we had it. Ah, here it is. The Twisted Ranker Trio. So this is important for this whole thing. This little foot locker has this thing here. So we have to read, you don't have to read the whole thing. You can skim through it. Um, basically what it is, is there is the Twisted Ranker Trio, which is a band and you have to go by the order of which members appeared when. So, Guts and Glory, a chronicle of the amazing story of the Twisted Ranker Trio. A work in progress. Famous band, da 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 da. The brains behind the group manager, Ilthos Uxabis. I don't know if that guy's actually important. I can't remember. Or if he's just the manager. But we'll put that in the, in the brain there, just in case. Gilthos. Found the trio to earn a date with a young single na named Elinda. She still has not 
entered into the story yet because it's just uh, it just said that he wanted to get her a date. So the ploy worked, and Elinda became the first member of the band. Okay, now she's uh, a part of the band. Rufo scrambled to find some musicians to back her. Signed a bith named Uja. So Elinda Uja. You'd be the lead mus musician. After that, Uja's brother, Uji. Elinda, Uja, Uji. Then struggled at first. Elinda was a fantastic singer, but Uja wasn't much a musician. Then Elinda then da, 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 fired Uja and signed another Bith named Lupa. Okay. Of course, that didn't go well either, and Uja's brother. Uji quit. Fortunately, Lupa, Lupa knew another musician named Fudu. Joined to replace Uji. In the scene, second incarnation of the Tr Twisted Ranker trio became quite popular on Tyrus. They got in with Davik. Unfortunately, Linda had heard certain unsubstantiated rumors about Davik King and his connections to the exchange. And he felt, uh, da, 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 da. she left, and then Elinda's sister, Ash Ashana, took the lead. Knew that he was in taking Ashana. If he knew the, 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 the temper could. However, if Ashana could match her sister's performance, then Davik likely descended that for a big time contract. Or his all right. So we have to find the order. Linda, she was the first one. Linda, no, it wasn't Ashana. It was Uja. And then his brother, Uji. And then Uji. Ashana was. No, it wasn't Fudu first, it was... What was it? Yeah, let me t check that out again. Mm. Okay, Lupa, and then... Yeah, there. Ashana was the last one. Fudu. Shana. Yay! Are you going to give me my stuff? A canny fiber armor and 500 credits. Ooh, defense bonus of five. Let's put that on. Even though it looks pretty similar. So let's out of sight, out of mind. I'm gonna see if I can go solo here. If I open the doors, will they be? What? Do they see me? Oh, they do. All right. Never mind. Ready. All right. You kill this guy. I'm gonna save it here real quick. Maybe that's not the best choice to save what? it well. Alright, she'll heal herself. And now, attack! Oh, there you go! Man, he's quite persistent. Time to rumble! Jeez, this guy is tough. All right, do we have any? We only have the shock stick. Well, this might be interesting. Power attack. I don't think this guy has ever been that hard. We might die. Oh, okay. Um, 
That might not have been the smartest. Okay. We heal ourselves. Oh! Ready. Gosh, dang it. Let's try that again. Sorry guys, I loaded it at the wrong time. Nope. You will disengage that. You will heal yourself. What? Now, now you will. Ready. Alright, let's let's load that up again. We gotta change how, how we're doing this. I'm here. Oh! I'm gonna slice this dude. Oh! I'm gonna slice this dude. Oh! Yeah, Cardi. Ah! Keep shooting him. Why? Why is he so hard? I don't think he's ever been this hard when I played him. Oh! Goodness gracious. Good thing is he gave us an energy shield. Goodness. Maybe because I always go the other way, and apparently that's like the easier way to go through. Go over here. Let's see if we can. Like, apparently not. I wanted to see if I could heal myself real quick um, without using many packs by going to the apartment. But it looks like so that guy who killed the easy guy first. <laughs> Does he have things that I can get? Maybe not. Security droid. Well, that's one thing that you can do. You can activate the security droid to kill all the people here, but I might... I pretty much killed everyone already, so... Let's save this time. So that we're in a better position. You dare kill me? Uh, time to rumble! Oh. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Don't want to mess with Dark Stardust. Nothing in there? Okay. Alright, well... On we go! Alright. So you could go back here. This is the uh, Black Volker base, which is one of the, the gangs that are around here. Um, but... If you go there, you pretty much die on... Like, right out. Um, you can come in here and Javier come Cantina. Javier. Don't cause any trouble. We see some uh, interesting things here. For example, let's just walk in here. And you get this cutscene. Go away. Go away. Hey, you not tough like that. We just want to say hi to Big Bad Bounty Hunter, Hunter Cal Nord. 
Kipuna. Nah, this can't be Kalamor. He's supposed to be tough. This guy's nothing but a rat. One. Oh, he's counting. One. What does that mean? You'd be funny, tough guy, huh? Do you know who we are, Kalamor? We're members of the Black Vulcan gang. You don't want to be getting funny with us, tough guy. Two. Hmm. Okay. Mino understand. One, two, why he count? Alright, he tried to count how many of us is against him? It's three against one, Kalo. What do you think of, about those odds? Well, you have something more to say? Three. three. Shouldn't have done that, guys. Oh! 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 Three deaths. Now watch this, he's gonna, he's gonna start walking towards this. You guys are gonna like this. Um, this is what happens if you try to talk to him. You'll see why I say it in a Go second. Go away. One. Smart. Oh, dang it. I clicked the wrong one. Oh, he left already. Uh, well, essentially, what um, what happens is you start talking to him, and it's just like, I'm gonna kill you, and then he kills you. I think without cheats, it's impossible to kill him. I told you to leave me alone. So give me some space, bug eye. Your breath smells like bantha poodoo. Little girls should not be in bar. This is no place for a little girl. If the little girl's smart, she run away home now. Who you call a little girl, tuba face? Little girl needs a lesson in manners. Just a sec, boys. Sawbar, a little help here? I need you to rip the legs off some insects. Mission, I'm busy. It's from my food. Quit complaining. You can finish eating later. Besides, you need the exercise, so get over here. We don't want trouble with Wookie. Our problem with you, little girl. You got a problem with me? Then you got a problem with Big Z. So unless you want to take on my furry friend, I suggest you greenies hop on out of here. Little girl lucky she has big friends. Ooh. Let's talk to them. Say, I don't recognize you, and I know pretty much everyone in the lower city. You must be new down here. I guess that makes me and Big Z your official welcoming committee. Hey, we speak the same language. It's not that strange. Most aliens can speak basic. They just prefer to use their own language. But I grew up here on Terra, so I just sort of got used to speaking a native tongue. You showed a lot of guts dealing with those Valkyrs, kid. You got a name? My name's Mission Veo, and this big Wookiee is my best friend Zalbar. I'd offer to give you a tour, but the streets down here aren't safe. But if there's anything else you need... How do a Wookiee and a Twi'lek uh, street urchin end up as best friends? We just kind of fell in together. It ain't easy on your own here in the lower city. Everyone's always looking to push you around. So we noticed. Still, you seem like an odd pair. When I met up with Zalbar, seemed like a pretty good match. I knew we could look out for each other. With my street smarts and his muscle, we make a great team. Yeah, well, some questions. came to the right person. If you want info on Lower Terrace, I I'm the one I might to talk get to. Off here Davik, soon. the Lower City Gangs. I even got the scoop on that bounty hunter, Kalo Nord. Tell me about Davik. Davik's part of the Intergalactic Crime Syndicate, but I guess everyone knows that. But I hear he's got a new ship for his smuggling operations. The Ebon Hawk. <gasps> I don't know much about space travel, but I hear that ship's fast enough to break the Sith blockade. Of course... This is all just secondhand rumor. Where would he keep it, do you know? If Davik does have a ship, he's got it locked up in his estate. Nobody gets in there. Except the people working for Davik and the Exchange. Hmm, to me with the Lower City Gangs. There's only two gangs worth worrying about here in the Lower City. The Black Volkers and the Hidden Becks. Sometimes Zalbar and I hang out at the Beck base. The Becks are led by Gadden Beck. He's a good guy. Lost his sight in a swoop bike accident a few years ago, but even blind, he's a great leader. That Not sounds like that good. traitor Brezhik. Before he took over the Volkers, he was a hidden back. Gadden considered that ungrateful space slug his adopted son. 
Why did Brashik leave the hidden mix? When Gadden went blind, everyone figured he'd step down and appoint Brashik in his place. But Gadden figured Brashik wasn't ready yet. He wanted him to wait a few years. But Brashik was too impatient. He left to join the Volkers, and ever since, he's been waging a war to wipe Gadden and his Bex from the face of Terrace. This gang war in the Lower City is totally the Volkers' fault. They're the ones killing everything that moves out on the street. It's like they've gone insane. Let's talk about Kalonord. Kalonord's one of the most famous bounty hunters in the galaxy. He's killed more people than the Iridian Plague. I've seen him kill people just for trying to talk to him. He hangs around yeah. Zack's bounty office, but I don't think he's looking for work there. All the postings there are small time. Way beneath the bounty hunter of his caliber. I figure kalo has been hired to have it to do a special job for the exchange. I'd wager a thousand credits that as soon as the quarantine ends, he'll be getting off this rock. Sounds about right. Alright, I'll be going now. Going? Yeah, this dive is pretty boring. No action around here. Come on, Big Z, let's go. Oh, I haven't finished eating. Can't you think about something besides your stomach for five minutes? Come on. We'll go see if there's anything good to eat at the Beck base. Alright. So, I think I might end here. Um, basically, what I'll, I'll tell you about what we're going to do next. Uh, we didn't do much of like important stuff. We did get into the lower city though, so that was good. So we might we're gonna talk to Holden about um, getting um, that girl Dia um, in, in, near our apartment. We're gonna talk to him about getting the bounty off. Um, talk to over here to, with the hot guy. And his name's Zax. We're gonna talk to him about. Oh, stop it. We're going now. So anyway, we'll be talking to him about bounties, um, which some of them we've already gone through. And that's how we'll take off uh, Dia's bounty, and that's how it's also how we'll uh, do other bounties. For example, the the Matrix guy that wants us to get him um, a detonator. Uh, um, we will get the detonator. He'll fake his his death, and I can cash in on his his um, his death. So that's that's pretty good. So I, I hope you guys are having a good May Fourth. Um, it's been so fun having you guys here with me. Um, please stay tuned for more content like Star Wars: The Force Unleashed. I just put up another video um, before I started the stream. Um, so there's another video on that one. Star Wars: Republic Commando. Um, I, I did a, a clip on uh, a no scope that I got in Call of Duty that I was just playing around with. So, hope you guys watch that. And I actually have a new channel which I'm doing some uh, some music videos, cinematic music videos, like the stuff that I used to do. Um, but obviously, it's copyrighted. So, and I'm I made another channel specifically for all of that stuff because I still like making those videos. Um, didn't like I know that I'm not gonna make any money off of them I don't want to monetize them or anything like that it's just like a little bit of a hobby I just I really like it, editing videos and stuff like that so thank you guys for joining me I hope you guys have a nice day um, may the fourth be with you and be nice to each other have a nice day Bye. 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 Bye.